Hello everybody and welcome back to Drinking Hot Chocolate. <laughs> Thanks for that. I know. Alright, Brennan's gonna read stuff. Okay. <laughs> I've got a kind of... Oh. Oh. But Amane isn't trying to recruit any members herself. No violence! <laughs> The vice president reminded us as she walked away. I forgot I couldn't interrupt him. <laughs> but I forgot I couldn't interrupt Chris for most of the video because I do most of the reading. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, click. Yeah, she doesn't even seem very flexible, though. She seems familiar with the students' names and profiles, and it looks like she wouldn't be able to get away with abusing the power that comes with the position. But strange, isn't it? Even though Amane suddenly left the robot club, she hasn't been continuing. She has been continuing with the soaring club for years. Until, until she became the super repeat student. Even so, she isn't trying to get any new members. The more I know about the situation, the less I understand it. Not really, it's more if she's incredibly introvert. After school, Aka and I head, head to the Soaring Club's garage. After all, we're already members. As she looks at us, Amane bows her head in apology. Cut it out, Amane! Amane-senpai <laughs> Does that mean you're giving up on the club? Amane nods apologetically. Amane? Why don't you look for new members yourself? This Is that what she really thinks? Is that because you don't want to let anyone to come near this place? If so, then we... But how about becoming members? Mm. Amane really looked distressed and became despondent. If we ask any more questions, all we'll be doing is cornering her even more. Anyway, once you've built the glider, what do you plan to do next? Maybe she wants to fly away. Without you. Shatter all the things you know. As far as the quick check that that we did goes, apparently there are competitions for gliders too. Yeah. Hi. Wait. Huh? So what are you gonna do? I told you, fly away. It's like why else do you make aviation devices to fly away? Mona gave a smile. It seems just like she was about to start rem reminiscing about old times. A place you want to go.
Isuka. She said that name before. It will fly to the sky that Isuka spoke of. Looking as if memories have come flooding back, she looked at the photo frame on the desk. A photo frame without a photo. I was actually about to jokingly say. <laughs> Sorry. She looked like she had gone into her own little world, and it didn't seem that we could ask her any more questions. To search for people who might join the club. Whatever answer Amane give of, gives, avoiding having the club status repealed was his top priority. I way to the danger zone. It was past nine o'clock at night. Da da da. In the kitchen, I was washing the dishes for five people. In the dormitory, there were six people, including myself, but Katori didn't eat, or did I not eat? Click. Tori didn't show up for dinner or to help prepare beforehand and was shut away in her room. Just in case, I put her dinner in the fridge. If she gets hungry, she can eat it whenever she wants. Maybe she's feeling down. You did have that big confrontation earlier. Yeah. Why does she want to drop out of school? Is it because of what Agatha said? That it was because of the arguments she had with the girls in the class? Is it because the lessons are boring? <laughs> That's always a good reason to drop out. <laughs> Why do you drop out of high school? Well, it, it was boring, man. Or could it be something to, that I don't know about? Mm, maybe. It's, it's probably just boring. Yeah. It's possible it could even be something that's not even she, that not even she understands. I, of all people, can't really... S can't really say anything about other people. I don't think that anyone would understand the real reason why I came back to this town. To be honest, I still haven't really solved things for myself, yet. As I began to feel kind of down, I was surprised to hear the sound of footsteps stomping down the hallway. As I walk down the highway and I sing a, oh. sing a little song. Got a dog! What is it? Could it be that you were attacked by, by a pervert? Oh. <laughs> Lovely icebreaker. While I had my back to her, I couldn't stop my eyes from looking around her in her direction. She has a gun. Someone has taken Katori's clothes off. No. What? Oh, wait, what are you doing now? My eyes are up here, Owie. <laughs> My eyes are up here. <laughs> no means no. That can't be it. Oh, why don't you let her take a bath? <laughs> In the bathtub? Found this whole situation ridiculous. Um, Kenny does not proving herself right now. Like paraplegics can get in and out of bathtubs, and at the same time, it's like she refuses to let us help her bathe. It's like, hmm, I, I can understand that. <laughs> The wheelchair was in the bath dressing room. It was the wheelchair that Katori used when, when in the bathroom. She always used it when she took a shower. But I've never seen her do that, of course. How do you get into the shower with a wheelchair? Um, no, it's sort of like how elderly people have a chair in the shower. I assume it's like a walk-in shower. How does she get in? With 
a wheelchair that's resistant to water. I think they're saying it's a separate wheelchair. Exactly, but how do you get actually into the shower? With it's a walk-in walk shower. With, with any wheelchair. It's a walk-in shower. Any, with any mode of transportation. If they can make chairs that can sit in the shower, I'm sure they could put water-resistant wheels on Why is this our debate? Why aren't we making fun of Owie? Owie's so stupid that he can't change a light bulb. i never seen her do that, of course. She can't get into the bathtub while still in the wheelchair. For her to get in the bathtub, she needs someone to help her. Oh, according to what I heard, Katori has an older sister. She only gets into the bathtub when she comes here. Okay, yes. <laughs> that makes sense. Anyway, her sister hadn't come around here recently. At least not since I'd become the dorm mother. Probably because they're arguing about the dropout issue. Or you just scared her off. With a duck. That's worse. <laughs> no, that's what I'm thinking. I think Ali's singing. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't like this Ali person. He seems to be a bit of a predator. No. Kano seemed to say, I'm not coming with you as she left me by myself. Hey, wait. <laughs> yeah, I just stay out of this. It's like, no, I. I look. I'll call your sister. <laughs> Until then, you're taking a shower. I will break the bathtub, boss. <laughs> but I have a clean re legal record, and I want to keep it that way. As she left me behind, I turned my face to Katori. This will be fun. All right. You said it. You said he was going to say it as well. I know. <laughs> Let's change his stupidity rating to a 1 out of 10. It was a negative too. It's like she she's throwing out sexual harassment. It was a negative too. Oh, it was. Yeah. Oh, let me check. Hold on. Hold everything. How do you rate? How how do we rate his stupidity? Negative two out of ten. Okay, yeah. Doop. Boop. Okay. We're back. Yay! The stupidity. Click. Of course she is! I'd say the same thing in your situation. Allie, how how exactly do you want to argue this? <laughs> like, I just want to see his argument. <laughs> Hold on. Exactly. You, like, it's a really difficult, it's a weird situation, but how you're approaching it is dumb, as a sack of nails. Yeah? Uh, okay. <laughs> the derp is real? If you have any problems, call me right away, okay? That's, that's why I said, just stay out of it, man. Just when Canada came up to you, just be like, no, I can't do that. <laughs> I sit down in front of the dressing room door, just like I'm guarding it. This isn't really that important, but I have, but to have one guy in the girls' dormitory makes taking a bath really inconvenient. It, re it really makes it inconvenient if you agree to the job of being like, okay, okay, I'll help you get in the bathtub. <laughs> it's like, dang it. <laughs> I'm the only one who has a set time. If I inadvertently run into any of them in there, I can't just get away with an apology. Hmm, weird. It could be a dormitory, so I'm also just curious how the bathroom's set up. Because don't bathrooms have locks? From the bathroom, I could faintly hear the sound of the shower. Taking, I'm walking on sunshine. Wow. <laughs> she must be washing herself before getting into the bath. Oh yeah, that's actually a common misconception when um 
foreign tourists sort of visit Japan and they go to the bathhouses. It's sort of a quick way to um, tick off a lot of people there is to just go straight into the bath. Remember, if you're doing that, you bathe first. Like, they bathe before they go into the public baths. A lot of um, foreigners will not because they don't realize that and they're stupid. Okay, click. I'm nervous. That limited information I get from the sound actually serves. These are weird. Yes, she's bathing. You scrub behind the ears, you wash the hair, you wash the body, and make sure you're clean and squeaky. Well, exactly! <laughs> She should. Yeah. Just think of having fun in the pool or a hot tub, man. Hmm? I react by getting up and opening opening the dressing room door and this gonna this gonna go terribly wrong. And we'll call it that. And we'll call it <laughs> And we'll call it that. The next episode watching. will probably be the series conclusion cause um Owie will probably get murdered. Goodbye. Like his intros. He'll be hanged by his entrails. The end.